Hey YouTube. Okay, so I'm not gonna cover the champions and like traits and like hextech arguments. There's already a, a PBE rundown on Mordog's channel, so go check it out. I'll probably put in the link in the description. What I will cover are the two other articles that they released, which is for uh, Double Up, which is the 2v2 mode. And then the second article I'll cover is the Chibi Champions. So let's first talk about 2v2 mode. Team up for Double Up. Everyone, Everything you need to know about TFT's newest lab, Double Up. Uh, the 2v2 lab is coming to the second patch of uh, Gizmos and Gadgets, patch 11.23, November 17th. So we still got like a month away. All you need to start playing is a partner. Before you ask, I'd love to. Uh, I'll just try to cover it, um, uh, all the important information. So, TLDR. You can queue up with Solo or with a preferred partner that you share health with. Once your health pool runs out for the first time, it'll s it's set back to 1. Any loss thereafter eliminates the both of you. Huh? That's kind of confusing. So I'm assuming... So the first time you run out of HP, you're set to one more life. You're given one more chance. And then after that, you're done. That's what I'm assuming is that what that means. <laughs> With the assist armory, you can give your partner item components, gold, and other boosts at key points in the game. Use the Rune of Allegiance to give champions and items they may be holding to your partner. Everyone gets one at the start of the game, but you can get another via the assist armory. So, I'm assuming you're both running like kind of different boards. So, maybe you get, what's it called, maybe your partner is one champ off a 3 star, you can give it to them. Or they need a specific item. <laughs> if you beat your opponent's army, before your partner beats theirs, after a short delay, your surviving champions will hop onto your partner's board to help them out. That's really cool. So, um, the stronger your board is, the faster you, you win, you can help out your teammate and make sure to, to almost like kind of guarantee victory for both of you. Double up goes, goes PBE on November 2nd. And live on the second patch, uh, 11.23, because it's the gadgets, we'll be adjusting it periodically based on your feedback. Okay, so it actually goes on PBE November 2nd, which is in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Holy crap. God, time is flying by fast. Holy shit. Okay, so, uh, how to win. Don't lose, forehead. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you and your partner will share a health pool. Every time your partner suffers damage, you suffer damage. Uh, first time you hit zero, it goes back to one. Uh, okay. So there's still a carousel. So there's still a carousel, which is interesting. Okay, so if if you and your partner are like 1 HP, you both get first pick? That seems really good. Uh, how to not lose? Assist Armory and Rune of Allegiance. Uh, in stage 2-5 and stage 6-2, one player from each team will see an assist armory. Whoever sees the assist armory can gift their, their partner things like item components and gold. The assist armory on stage 6-2 has even cooler loot like completed items, trait emblems, and a rune of allegiance. Worried about giving without receiving? Don't be. Your partner will get a chance to turn the favor on stage 2-6 and 6-3. Okay, so at the near the end of stage 2, you're both guaranteed to like give each other things. Uh, let me pull these up. So, so this is the stage 2-5 slash 2-6 armory, assist armory. So, um, you know, these are what you can give to your uh, partner. So you can like give them like an item component and or like eight gold. So that's pretty cool. And then stage six, assuming you live that long, uh, <laughs> assuming you live that long, uh, you can give them full items. So they're cool. Or you could give them a rune of allegiance, but I'm not sure what that does yet. 
The Rune of Allegiance is given to all players at the start of the game, as well as Stage 4 2, and as an option in the second assist armory. It's a consumable that when you, when used on a champion, sends that champion all of their items over to your partner's board in a loot bubble. If that champion is holding items, the items will become unequipped, allowing your partner to repurpose them as you see fit. Nifty, right? So let's look at this clip. Um, if it will load. Do I need to refresh the page? Okay. So, let's look at this. The Rune of Allegiance. Place on a champion to transfer that champion to your partner, along with all the items the champion has equipped. It's consumable. Can I be used in combat? Okay. So, he used it, um, they used it on a two-star TF with a gun blade. If we go check the other person's board, <laughs> it shows up like as a, what's it called? Like a Radiant Blessing. I'm assuming there's no Radiant Blessing in this set for now. Yeah, so they received it. The, what's it called? The, uh, what's it called? Gunblade comes off TF, and they get the two-star TF. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's some really interesting stuff you can do with that. Well, no, let's get going. Um, and yeah. And just like Hyper Roll, there's tiers. Oh, so sorry. Um, there's tiers. There's a ranking tier system, so that's cool. Um, they'll be tuning, they'll be, you know, constantly changing and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, the pass will be available around 11 a.m. PST when Gasmos and Giz Gizmos comes out on November 3rd, which is in two weeks. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so that's uh, 2v2 mode. That's double up. Very cool. I'm so looking forward to playing this mode. Holy Christ. Uh, Chibi Champions. Uh, so we have Jinx. The first champion that we saw was uh, Jinx in like the in like a preview like a while back. Now we also have Echo and Vi. Uh, yeah, so we have Chibi Echo, Chibi Jinx, and Chibi Vi. Uh, they're directly purchasable for nineteen hundred RP. What the fuck? That's so ex. That's kind of expensive. That's like twenty bucks. Sheesh. The freaking pass is like a, it's like a thousand RP. What the hell? Okay, um, they don't come. That's because they don't come from eggs. Uh, they won't join you in ARAM games. Um, you don't need to spend star shards to level them up. Uh, okay, so you don't need to spend star shards to level them up. There's no two or three star variant. Um. Yes, yeah, so if we if we look at this clip, like Jinx, the Jinx beat the Echo. Jinx shot a rocket. Vi, Vi shoots her fists, and Echo. So it's like a little, just so like his bomb. Cool. Um, what else? Uh, you know, of course I got the own. When you control one, two, three, maybe four, they do their they have special little animations, which is cute. Oh, I guess we can see it right here, assuming it loads. Let's see. It's not really loading. There we go. Oh my god, it's lagging. It's lagging. Give it a bit. Okay. 
I'll link the articles anyways. You can see them when, you know, you can see it so that, uh, what's it called? You can see these. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's it. I will link everything in the description down below. I just want to quickly go over these. I am really excited for set six. Uh, holy cow. That's insane. Um, we have set six coming out. We have the 2v2 mode coming out. Holy Christ, I am super excited. I can't wait. Uh, the, what's it called? Set six should be on PBE. I think at the latest is like Wednesday. So yeah, it should be by probably by like Wednesday. But yeah, other than that, um, that should be it for me. I will, oh, uh, I guess the last thing is that I will, uh, what's it called? I will be posting PBE patch notes whenever they happen. Or yeah, whenever they post PBE patch notes on the Discord, uh, I will post them on YouTube in case uh, people want to find them as well. Um, but yeah, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I so excited. Go go watch the PBE rundown from Mort Dog. Uh, yeah, thank you. Have a good day.